Dexter, the sting, haste in his 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 Dexter Hastings here for bbcullen.com I'm here, yet again, with Sean Davis uh, Sean, welcome to fight then mate Nice one awesome, mate, thanks Sean is at the moment the English and the WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion uh, Sean, you're on the, uh, the big show for Matchroom uh, The Barclay Card Arena, uh, Birmingham on the 13th of May, yeah. homecoming um, you're putting your WBC International Super Bantamweight title on the line against a fellow Grummate, which is wicked, yeah. you know what I mean? Keeping the family and all that, right? Uh, against Gamel Yafai, whose brother's headline in the show. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel? I know you've been you, you've wanted this fight for a while. How, how did you feel when you got the news? Uh, over the moon, mate. Um, we was a bit unsure for a while uh, after winning the WBC, whether it was actually going to happen. Oh, okay. Um, me obviously being a fighter, we want to find out who's the best in our back garden before we go anywhere else. And um, obviously me and Gamal are the best super bantamweights in, in the area. Um, we need to find out who's the best, so... This is it. You got very, well, like, you and Gamal have got very similar professional careers. Yeah. And uh, your records are virtually exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. And wins anyway. Yeah. You both got, both got no losses, right? But Gamal... Had an outstanding amateur career. Do you yeah. think that is going to help him in uh, this fight? I think uh, if you if you're looking at it from a paper point of view, it would. But looking at it from where I am, no. Um, I spar many a kids with over a hundred amateur fights, bigger than me, undefeated as pros, and I'm twisting them up. Um. You know, so it's uh, a pro and amateur. It, Although it does help having a great amateur career, no doubt about it, it is a different game. No, this is very yeah. true because there's a lot of amateurs that have come come into the program with yeah. big, big, big ambitions and big names behind them and come unstuck. Yeah. But um, you know, I've watched you box quite a lot, and you've got a lot of heart in you, mate. Um, how will you be preparing for this fight? Is there going to be any uh, new training routines or anything? I think um, we always try and we always try and stick to the same training routine because it's working. Uh, we, we're not making the weight, you know, bang on specific times. What I should be weighing? You always make the weight easily. Yeah, uh, very easily. As soon, as soon as I found out I could make super bank and weight, we was knocking on the door for this because um, obviously we want to fight the best. Um, but preparation wise, there'll there'll be nothing major that will change. I, I can't see anything major that will change, but I will say it's it's almost like a no, a new a whole new fire's been lit yeah. inside me and you know, um I haven't had this feeling before. I've never needed motivation to train because I can get up when, when my alarm clock goes, I'm up and I'm out and I'm doing my running and I'm you know, I'm dedicated to stay away from the biscuit team. Um, I've never needed motivation, but for some reason, I just feel this this extra bit of fire, you know. Um, well, uh, well, saying that, right, and just, I'm just just come kind of just off the top of my head, right, is that you had a four rounder? Yeah. Uh, was it a six rounder? One? Six rounder. Six yeah. rounder. Uh, what a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, that's it, on, yeah. on the Tommy promotion, uh, Tommy Owen promotion show. Uh, you know what? I thought it was great. You know what I mean? Someone of your stature, right? Going into a small hall fight, right? Yeah. Everyone there is buzzing because Sean Davis is yeah, there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not blowing smoke, you know. You know what I mean? Because you're you've gone that level, right? Look, there were people who were saying, "Oh, why is he, why is he doing the six round on yeah. a small hall?" Because he's gone on to bigger things. But you know what? I honestly respect you for doing that and the fact that you needed to tick over. Of course, yeah. Um, you know, I, I come from small hall shows. I, I come from the leisure centres with 300 people in. Yeah. I've, I've, I've gone through the, the pain of not being able to sell tickets and all, all of the hardships that come with that. I, I, was, I wasn't given a massive show to box on when I first turned pro, you know, um, because obviously I didn't have a, a, a stellar amateur career. Um, if, I, if I ever had to go back to small or fighting, I will. 
hundred percent. My, do you know why? My more day saying yeah, just like Craig Cunningham on yeah. the last one needed to tick over, jumped on the Tommy yeah. Owen show. You know I mean? Don't don't you know to probably to all the fighters out there. Don't don't ever you know turn your noses up, but it kind yeah, of you're you never know, too big, are you? That's it, man. You never don't don't get too big for your boots. I know I know where I'm from. I'm from from that. Yeah. Know, from that on, yeah. chips going through the, the small all shows. And that is that, that is what, uh, there's a lot of respect going on there, mate, seriously, right. So, getting back to the fight, uh, <clears throat> how do you think it's going to go, the actual fight? I know it's going to be my hardest fight, but it's something I'm 100% prepared for. Because he is, he is a tough geezer, yeah. let's not get this wrong. 100% uh, is a quality fighter, i got all the respect in the world for him as a fighter. Um, he he done what he had to do in the amateurs to get to where he is now. Um, so I fully respect him for that. But you know, come uh, in in my head, he he's in the way of my future. He's yeah. in the way of my boxing future, and that that's how it will be in the ring. Um, I'm, I know it's going to be my hardest fight, but mentally, physically, I'm I'm going to be more than prepared from the yeah. 13th. So with that, what what would you be your prediction for the fight? I'm gonna win. How it comes doesn't matter, but I know my my engine right now. I could fight tomorrow. Yeah. That, that's what my engine's like now. I could do a twelve rounder tomorrow. So come May the thirteenth, I'm I'm gonna be on a different planet. Oh, I've, I've I've seen you box a few times now, and you you haven't got an engine like you. You just keep going like yeah. a little Duracell bunny. That's it. You know what, mate? That's brilliant, right? Uh, to finish off then, Sean, right? Um, have you got anything um, to say to the supporters out there who have followed you through your career? Yeah, um, I put something there on Facebook just the other day about like saying thank you to everyone, but you know, um, people don't realise how, how much it means to us when when they actually buy a ticket. They just think, oh, it's just like handing over money, yeah. and giving you a ticket. That's the end of it. it. It's not, you know, it means it literally means everything to us. To us fighters, especially the ones that come up on the small all shows as well. Yeah. Um, you know, we we can never be saying thank you is just never enough, and you you can't put it into words. You know what you guys have done for us basically just by buying tickets, just by sending us a message, good luck, Sean. I hope training's going good. You know that means everything to a fighter, and it, it's something we're forever grateful for. Especially my sponsors as well. You know. Yeah. Well, what sponsors? Yeah. Um, so we got Simon. Simon Olin from the gym, uh, from DNS Brickwork, uh, Jay Pagan, JP Home Improvements, John Olison uh, from the Hive Efficiency Group, and Paul Murphy from Keys of the City Locksmiths. Um, they they helped me out of a real bad time when I, I, I was literally on the verge of saying, you know what, I can't box, I'm just going to work because yeah. of my kids and stuff. And they says, hold on, make sure we'll help you out, sort of thing. Yeah, well, do you know what? It's paid dividends because, like, well, I can just say a big, big few. Regardless of what goes on in this fight, you know what I mean. I think both of you are going to come out better boxers. Yeah. Win or lose, both of you will come out with a lot more experience. But you know what? All the best, right? Uh, I love Gamel to come down and give us an interview. Welcome yeah, to you, yeah. just to keep it all even, right? But like, you are one of the first uh, professional boxers ever to come on the column, so we'll we'll always be on your side kind of mate yeah. <laughs> and because you've been on the show that many times and we've interviewed that, you that many times there is your official was he? Birmingham Boxing Column t-shirt nice one mate thanks alright mate I'll get that on and uh, make, make sure I get it sweaty in the gym <laughs> that's what I want mate that's, that's it, what man, I thanks. want that's what right. everyone Sean Davies nice one guys thanks Well, another great interview with uh, Sean Davis. Um, the homecoming show is going to be a cracker. Uh, Sean versus Gamel stands out to me as one of the, one of the top fights. I know Cal's fighting, I know Sam Egerton's fighting. You got a world title, a European title, but as a local Brummie thing, that fight has got. Has got it all. Two Brummie lads going for it. Two unbeaten records. You know what I mean. Someone's always got to go. Uh, they're both cracking boxers. Sean is a good friend of the columns. Um, we'd love to have Gamel on. You know, and this is an open invitation to him, right, to get in contact with us, right. Uh, 
via, via Facebook or by the, um, the website or the email address, um, please do. Because um, we'd love to have you and welcome to fight then, so you, you can have your say. You know what I mean? Sean was very respectful about Gamal. You know what I mean? Gamal is a, an extremely, extremely good, talented boxer. Sean has got the heart of a lion, and uh, I've watched him box and I've watched him progress. I was there when he won the WBC international title, and uh, you know, even at the four rounder that, uh, sorry, six rounder that he had um, a couple of weeks ago. You know what I mean? He, he put everything into it because that's the kind of kid he is. He's only from down the road from me as well, so. You, you asked me for a prediction. I'm, I'm going to go for Sean winning on points. I don't think, I don't think he'll, he'll, he'll stop, he'll, he'll stop her, Gamal, but um, he's got to watch that Gamal's a very powerful lad, so it could go either way. It's a 50-50 toss-up, but put a gun to my head, I'm going to go for Sean, because, you know what I mean, he's... he's He's just the one that's all we've always followed, and I just just think he's got that little bit extra. Uh, so Sean, Sean Davis to win to well, retain his WBC international title. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Dexter, the sting, Hastings. Box in your mouth, act up, you will get boxed in your mouth. Don't get rude, fam. Box in your mouth, you ain't that dude now. Nah.